Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mary. Good morning on your day. December 8th, the Immaculate Conception Feast Day. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mary. Good morning on your special day. It's December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which deals with how Mary was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And it's a joyful day, and it should be a joyful day. So may you focus on the joy that Mary was instrumental in being part of in bringing Jesus to this world. And I'll share the idea again of some time in your spare time when you want to do a little meditation. Contemplate holding baby Jesus in your arms. Feel his presence. Listen to him breathe. And I want you to breathe in the air that he is exhaling. Think in terms that he is breathing and breathing out joy, peace, and love. So you breathe in Jesus, and you exhale too. You exhale joy, peace, and love to surround you and protect you. It's a circle of love that is the breath of Jesus, so to speak. I was very happy today when I opened up to, uh, I think it was Matthew 22, and it had the great commands of love in it, and Oh, House of David, and a whole bunch of neat things that made me feel good. And of course, the wedding feast of Cana, where Christ performed his first miracle. So every day, in a way, though, could be Mary's day in relationship to her being instrumental in bringing Jesus Christ into the world and into your life. Now, I'm going to do that exercise that I've been doing of late, which I find um, um, enjoyable. Breathe in Jesus. Exhale peace and love. Breathe in Jesus. Exhale, peace and love. Breathe in Jesus. Exhale, joy and love. Share the joy that you found in loving Jesus Christ. Breathe in Jesus. Exhale, joy. Peace and love. Well, God bless you all and have a great day. And find some joy in your life. Don't worry about the end. Think of the beginning. That each new day is another beautiful day to dive into life with the love of God and your neighbor and and do what you can to make the world a better place. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to probably try and sing portions of the uh, a version of the Hail Mary I do for healing. And the uh, the three sets actually, I call them pleas, and it's to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one. 
The first Hail Mary to the Father, our plea, goes like this. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, your children. Help us love God most of all, with all our hearts and souls and minds. May we obey God's commands and live by his rule of gold. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto yourself. The second plea is directed toward the Son, Jesus Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, your children. Help us love Jesus more each day, more and more in every way. May you bring peace to those who are in torment, to those who have spirits that they should not have within them, cast them out. Let them be replaced with your love of God and Jesus Christ. Christ in his name, the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one. And for the Holy Spirit, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, your children. May they stand beneath the living water and be cleansed of cancer, of any bad energies that they've had, unfortunately, come into their life. May they be bathed in the gentle light of God's love, of Christ's care and compassion. And may they live to love Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, three in one, all the days of their life. Free them, Lord, from their torments, those who cry out in the day and the night. Heal them, Lord, whatever their problems be. May God bless you all. <laughs>